And he was very angry with me for the position that I have taken, especially over the weekend in Nabaholo, over corruption in the cabinet. He told me very many strong and bad things. Because people who the other day we were working with here want to think because the Constitution has given them a different office as opposed to the offices as ourselves we have been given, they are therefore in high heaven, they should be worshipped, nobody should mention their name even when they are wrong. Mr. Speaker, people are angry and hate public servants because of our own making. The public display of wealth and opulence, unless members of the public can quickly see where you've gotten it, they will not be happy. Over the weekend, I was speaking of a young member of parliament from my community who has bought a helicopter. And I know him very well. I wish him well to continue accumulating wealth. I wish him well to continue accumulating wealth. But please, I'm asking the president to ask himself, how can the membership of an MP to a committee of parliament be the basis for him to be able to afford some of the things that are not affordable? Honorable Didmus Barasa, take it easy. Those helicopters will not change your life. Mr. Speaker, I equally offended somebody whose name I never mentioned in Kakamega over the weekend about this issue of opulence. I just wondered, how would an MP be able to donate 20 million shillings at a Harambe? He was very offended. In another function, I saw a minister of this government carrying a white bag on the bag like this and started announcing how many millions are in that bag. Said, Moja? Billy? No. Mr. Speaker, if we don't refuse these things, people like Murkomen will think that they are giving us their money. It's not their money. Those are proceeds of corruption. This house is saying no. Because of that anger, look at what our children did. Mr. Speaker, people are angry and hate us as leadership because every weekend, helicopters, they crisscross the skies, all of them going to functions where these millions are being dished. Mr. Speaker, the fuel gaslers that we drive, I know if you go to this parking, Mr. Speaker, you can see the difference between the vehicle four-wheel drive driven by your senators compared to those ones driven by members of the National Assembly. In the parking of the Senate, yes. you see Prados. Yes. But in the parking of the National Assembly, you see high-end vehicles that sometimes you only see. And why, Mr. Speaker? Because of an unconstitutional fund called CDF. That unconstitutional fund, the courts made a pronouncement that it was unconstitutional and illegal. How did we re respond as parliament? The National Assembly, without blinking an eye, went and exercised legislative impunity 
by twisting the, the act so as to be allowed to continue with that unconstitutional illegal process.